guys have just wired in the choke switch on my 1992 two-stroke Mercury outboard. For some reason, it wasn't wired up. Um, and my remotes at the top are like old school ones that don't actually have the ignition in and you push it. So I had to, I had to wire in a momentum, momentary button. So you press it and it gives 12 volts. Um, once it's pressed in, it sends signal down to the, the choke switch. Now, originally I actually wired it to the wrong thing because it's the yellow, yellow and black wire. Now I've done it to the black and yellow stripe wire. So this one here is not, is not the right one, okay? But you see just above it where that little spade terminal connector is. Oh, that's hard to get camera on that. Uh, you see that? So this, the actual solenoid is around the other side of the engine and it's, um, it's, the wire's fed all the way around to this side. So I kind of chased it round. You can't really see the bit that goes behind the actual, what's that called? The oil tank. Yeah, you can't really see it. So you kind of get a bit of a guessing game, but it came, you could kind of like tell it came, came around to this area here. And there was a, so they're yellow wires with the black stripe through. Okay, don't get it mixed up with the black wire with the yellow stripe through like I did. So yeah, again, it's the yellow wires or yellow wire there's actually a terminal block here kind of thing that they go on to. And yeah, you just put a spade spade on your end with the 12 volts coming from your momentum, momentary switch. Just 12 volts straight to there. And then undo, undo the screw, put your spade on, screw it back in, happy days. Um, and that actually, once you've got the ignition turned on, you press your switch and you can hear it clicking. So that's how you know it's working well fingers crossed it it fully works but there we go anyway hope that's helped some people out yeah again this is a 1992 mercury two-stroke gonna get her in the water tomorrow so more videos to come boys